Today we're going to tackle replacing a light switch and the first thing whenever you have an electrical project is to make sure you turn the power off. So Robin, are you in the garage? Sure am. Can you turn off the power to the light switch here? Okay, I got it. Okay. Okay, power's off. All right, I can see that too. I am still going to take it apart and I am going to double check with the meter. It's always best to be safe. You don't trust me? I trust you. <laughs> it's a matter of safety. Okay, so you take your screws out, obviously. Yeah, we're going to take the screws out. And get the plate off. And get the, took the plate off. Oh, so that's what it looks like under there. <laughs> so, Rob, you notice these are really long screws. These are the ones that are going to secure the fixture to the box. Okay. Wow, look at that. There it is. So all we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the wires. Does it matter which one you do first? I guess it not, since the power's no, off. No, it's okay. And again, I'm not going to hold them. I am going to keep them away from each other and myself. Okay, so we're still safe. And then what we do is we can use a voltmeter and we touch to one and the other. And I don't get a reading, so there's definitely no, no power, power going through it. So we're definitely safe. Okay. And I do trust you now. <laughs> So I'm just going to scrape these off a little bit, just to make sure there's good contact. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to explain something. So we are actually replacing an old dimmer switch that is broken, and we're going to put in this new switch. You can see it has the little dimmer slide on it instead. But you can just put in a regular old flip switch if you want, and that's actually much easier. And it could just be that you want a different color, or it's not working any longer. Not working, yep. And they are really simple. You can either wrap it around the post, or wrap these wires, wrap around, the the wires around the post, or actually they're designed actually to have the wires. They just go straight into it, and they grab it with tension, and they don't move out. And that's truly the easiest. And they actually have a little guide back here to show you how long it needs to be. Really I think I could do that. That's simple. <laughs> But this is the one we're going to use. So the wires you're going to find in the wall are typically going to be black and white or they'll be too black. And then it's also going to be a ground and the ground's either going to be green or it's going to be copper. And that's going to match up with the same wires that we have here. The green is the ground and then the other two are going to be the hot wires. In this case there's a fourth wire and what this wire is for is if there's an additional switch that may be down the hall that controls the same light. But we're not going to be using this one, we're only going to be using these three. To connect the wires, you're going to need wire connectors, and most kits do come with them, and this one did, but make sure that you do have them before you start the project. So basically, we're just going to twist the new wire along the wire that's in the wall, and then after you've got them twisted, you'll just add the wire connector, and you just screw it on. There'll be a little bit of resistance, and then next thing you know, it's snug, and that's it. We'll do that with the other wires and finish it up. You may notice that there's really not a lot of wire to work with, but the reason is, is that the box itself does not have a lot of room. So that's the reason for short wires, and you just have to get your hands in there and make do. All right, so you'll see we have the black to the black, and black is always going to go to black. Uh, and what we have left in the wall is a white, and on the switch is a red. So those two wires are the last two, and they will go together. Just remember that black always goes to black. And then after that, we're just going to very carefully start putting this back into the wall. You want to do as little bending as possible and do it gentle. As gentle as you can be. <laughs> so before David screws it all the way into the wall and gets it nice and snug up against there, we're going to test it just to make sure it works so he doesn't have to unscrew it all and redo it. All right, David, I'm going out to the breaker box to flip the switch. You tell me when you're ready. Okay. Okay, Robin, let there be light. And there is. Okay, here we are in the final stretch of putting in this new switch. And David has some really long screws that he's putting in, but yet they allow a little bit of play. Why is that, David? They actually have a little slot on it, Robin, so you can actually move it a little bit to make sure that it lines up to your wall properly. So it looks nice and straight. Yeah. That's important. That is important. And of course, all of these kits do come with full instructions. You probably want to read them front and back before you start this project. Or you can call David's dad. Who happens to be an electrician. Or your personal electrician. Might want to have that number handy just in case you have questions or you decide to give up. But really, this has been a pretty easy project, right, David? Definitely. Okay, good job. All Look, right. and there is the final, the final touch. Yes.